Hello, and in this video I'm making a dumbbell interchange. A dumbbell interchange is usually uh, configured as a pair of roundabouts to create a type of diamond interchange. Now, these are called dumbbell interchange because of their aerial resemblance to a dumbbell, like a weight. That's the reason. And then these are generally used in the UK and Ireland. But apparently they are more they're getting used more often now in the United States. But uh it's a very it's a very UK interchange, really, a very small interchange that can handle a small amount of traffic. Basically meant to replace uh a diamond interchange which are more common in the United States. Now with this build I'm doing something different because some people have asked for me to show the surrounding builds as well. So what I'm planning to do is this is the main video sort of thing where I'm building the interchange and I do the detailing for the interchange and then another video will be uploaded in a couple of days showing the surroundings being built which in this case is a construction dump yard just <laughs> general industry I suppose that's the main sort of idea behind it we'll see how well it turns out see how well that video works and if I do it again in the future so I'll get into a little bit of what I'm doing in the video as you see saw there I was very lazy and I couldn't be bothered to build uh, both sides of the interchange. So what I did was copy one side and paste it on the other. It's a quick and easy fix to, if your uh, interchanges are the same on both sides. You get stuff done in half the time, basically. It's, it's great. It's a good technique if both sides are the same. Now I've skipped a bit ahead in the video because I lost some of the footage where I was just adding a bit of concrete detailing to the sides, that's all that is, it's uh, some concrete decals just on the side to add a bit of texture and a bit of um, something there, otherwise it'd be, a, it'd be a bit boring. Now I have noticed on a lot of um, pictures and Google Earth searchings that a lot of these interchanges will have a, um, a substation or some sort of electric station near it. I was looking for a different asset that I had, I used to have, but I, I, obviously I cleared it out and I removed that, I'm going to have to re-download that, but I use this one instead, it's more of a um, an English substation just in a building compared to an open topped one, which is the one I was looking for. It, it works quite well, it, it looks quite nice. So I go through adding um, the surface painter just to add some underlying detail for when I go over with the decals afterwards I will add the final level that's just for the underneath to give the decals something because I find that if you if you don't give them something to be on top of they just look plain so I find that surface painting works well for that case as you can see this is not very like a very friendly pedestrian interchange like I normally make this is a bit of a different one because it's more tailored towards like an industrial district there is a path obviously that runs underneath and to and from the interchange but it's mainly for the industrial traffic that goes to the industrial area that I have created and here I am adding a lot of tire marks just to give it that worn feel because I would assume a lot of heavy traffic would be going through here like trucks and trailers and a lot of uh, the interchanges that I was looking at had this heavy wear on them now the, the lines aren't perfectly lined up mainly because they wouldn't be in real life the lines would not be perfect they would be at all weird angles and now here I am trying to find a center the roundabout because at the moment there is no center and I go through using these curb decals trying to make a circle it doesn't really work too well 
and I can't use decals on those type of uh, asphalt assets that I've used because that's just not how they work. So what I go and find is these different curb assets that are a lighter green and they come in this handy circle like well it's a quarter circle and it's very handy it's very useful it's it looks it looks great I, I like it I would have maybe preferred if it wasn't grass on the inside but it doesn't really look a hundred percent like grass it looks more artificial grass because it's not as it's just more green like more light green so it worked out quite well I had a couple shrubs and a couple of arrows to the interchange to just show obviously people where to go I had some lights in the middle as well it ended up looking quite quite good quite realistic for the center of the roundabout in a bit I go through and add tons of foliage I had some adverts billboards that sort of thing and then finally I add the uh, overpass assets that's the final thing that I add because you've got to sink them into the ground with that uh, technique I said about copying them and sinking them in that's always the final thing to add and it just adds that final touch of realism so I'm going to let the time lapse run I hope you enjoyed this video I'll see you next time